The huge queues trying to get to the EU uh, through Dover are probably dwarf. I don't know, they probably dwarf the huge queues of supposedly illegal migrants trying to get to the UK over the English Channel. Braverman is actually in charge of both queues and she's botching the effort in both directions. She says that those people who are uh, coming illegally to the UK, she told Sophie Ridge this this morning, um, by illegal means, that she means in small boats, I presume, will have no chance of an appeal. In her words, in her words, no excuse. No chance to say that they'd made a mistake. No chance, in my words, to say that they'd been trafficked, coerced, bullied, um, and, uh, in, in her words, again, mistaken. She too, therefore, I think, should be given no chance at all to say that she made a mistake when confronted by the details of the abuse and the uh, shooting of refugees, uh, the refugees from the Democratic Republic of Congo in March and May 2018 in Rwanda. She didn't know, she says, about this, although there are records of letters addressed to her um, both in both the end of last year and the beginning of this year. Letters that are publicly available. She didn't know of this. And uh, these letters draw attention specifically to this irregularity. I think this is extraordinary. Uh, it talks about the problem itself, the brutality. Um, also, the failure to investigate after the event, the draconian laws that um, are imposed on current migrants housed in Rwanda, apparently 100,000, she boasts, and as well as the instability of the country and the serious, the serious human rights abuse simply with respect to migrants. There are other instances of human rights abuse um, which are documented, but we're talking here about sending migrants, sending refugees to be housed in Rwanda to delegate our responsibility to a country that is on record of failing, is on record of failing, and the person who is presiding over this decision cannot be bothered to look at the paperwork. That is the reality. She thinks that the people who are going to be sent to Rwanda should have no chance of saying, oh, it was a mistake. And so when she is hauled up in front of um, legal processes, I think it's not possible for her to make the same excuse or for us to make that excuse.